this is a, a one-week workshop for teachers. They come from all different backgrounds. They teach science, math, technical education. I teach in a traditional classroom and not a science lab. And I'm always looking for ideas uh, to bring hands-on science to students to create their interest. And with the focus on uh, STEM now, I think it's important for students to have as many of those experiences as possible. Material science deals with with the things that you see around you all the time, all of the different solids. So we work with metals and polymers, ceramics, composites. This course teaches you about what, what things are made of, how do they work that way, why do they do what they do, how can we design products, um, what are they made of and how do they work. It is advanced and the learning curve is a little steep for me, but I am learning a lot and I am getting practical ideas that I can bring back to students. We took paper clips and bobby pins and then we heated them and cooled them in different ways to see if it would change their properties. By going through that entire process and looking at all of the different observations, we learned that you could change what was happening inside of the structure of the metal by heating it or cooling it differently. It was something we could do with everyday hands-on objects but it's also very inexpensive, which is helpful when you want to do this with, um, with classes or with teachers. And it doesn't take a lot of material and it doesn't take a very high expense to do it. We have these uh, career paths of students going to college and getting science and engineering degrees and using those skills, but there's also a place for um, people who are needed in more industrial types of science positions because those welders and um, people who are working with other types of uh, industry related science, that workforce is narrowing. So students need to understand that there are a wide variety of choices that they can have and there's going to be great needs for that um, in I guess tomorrow's workforce. Now you have teachers being exposed to new things that they're going to take back to their students and their students will go into um, these fields and would not have known about them before.